Ready, ready, ready. Dun, yes, dun. I am. Are you ready to rumble? Yes, I'm ready to rumble. Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Boardium Co. And I'm Ricky. Today we are unboxing Creature, Creature Comforts. Have you ever done an unboxing with me yet? Yes. Which one? Core Quest. Did we unbox Core Quest? Yes. Oh, we did. That's right. We did, we did, we did. So yeah, uh, this is Creature Comforts. This is the first game that Ricky ever reviewed on the channel. And also, one of the fun things about this is that this is the deluxe Kickstarter version of the game, which means Ricky has no idea all the fun things that have since been added to the game that uh, yeah. were, were in this copy of the game. Because the prototype we had was fine, but is not the level of what we have here. Oh no! A little bit of box tearing! No! no. It's a tiny amount of box tearing. We'll live. It's fine. Yeah. But anyways, go ahead and go ahead and pick the, the box up. Dun dun dun! Give it a little shake, a little shimmy, a little shaky shimmy shake. shimmy shimmy. I remember that from last time. Oh my gosh, the box already is cuter. It is adorable. It has a very nice fine inset. Willy socks. Willy socks? What's Willy socks? Willy oh, Willy socks. socks. I was like, Willy socks. Who's Willy socks? <laughs> what? So we have the rulebook over here, the rulebook for Creature Comforts, the final production from uh, Josh Capel, who does fantastic rulebooks in both in both KTBG and Burnt Island and other companies as well. Um, Oh, you see the wheel? Yes. The wheel? Is that better than the wheel we had? Yes. Okay, then we have... Uh, so, that so page one, this. basically, of gameplay starts on six, and then it's like two, three, four... Yeah, it's like five, six pages of gameplay of rules. There's not a lot. Then there's solo play as well, which we have not tried. Maybe I'll teach you solo play. See, every <laughs> once in a while, Ricky says that she's bored and she doesn't want to read a book, at which point I'm like, we should play a solo game. And Ricky generally says... I don't want to play a solo game. That's the correct thing. You usually say, I don't want to play a solo game. That's exactly correct. But... Don't get me wrong, she doesn't have to play a solo game, but we, as parents, it's our job to give you options. Yes. As a child, it's your job to uh, say you don't want to. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh is the correct terminology. And okay. Yes. I don't know why we're punching things. We don't usually punch things in unboxings, but apparently we punch this. So First thing, I am very glad because in the prototype, we didn't actually have this. We had to literally put the dice on a cardboard wheel and move it around physically. Instead yep. of just going, la, 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 we had to go, done, done. Yep. Done. We had a lot of things, because prototype, that's how prototypes work. Uh, we have this over here, which elucidates all the fun things you get in your Kickstarter copy of the game. We won't heavily focus on this, because I'd rather Ricky discover them for herself. Yeah. Okay, let's put this over here, so we have a nice box there, and go ahead and start grabbing more stuff out. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you're specifically not looking? Yes! <laughs> nice. Okay. So, this is the board. This is probably Ooh, fairly similar to what we experienced. Are there any noticeable changes? The uh, wheel goes over here. It's going to be rotated along. It probably it just looks it looks neater. Yeah, I'm to trying me, it to just remember. feels neater. I'm trying to remember if there are any actual changes. I don't remember the symbols up there. You see the symbols at the top left. I also don't remember there being card spaces. Um, I don't. I think there were card spaces. I could be wrong. And um, this looks cleaner. It looks cleaner. For some reason, I don't recall this sign in the inn. I, I don't, don't know. I, I definitely don't remember. The nice part is we could probably check out because there's a video over on Quackle's channel of you playing the game with the prototype, so we can actually probably compare and contrast. But uh, the symbols at the top left are different. I'm ninety percent certain. I could be wrong. Uh, this over here is a different wheel, and I vaguely rec this like just seems like it's popping more than the original did. And I de well, all the colors are more popping. The, the colors are definitely more brighter. Yep. I remember that. Yep, yep. Anyway. Right. Go ahead, grab it. No, you can, you, can, you can look and grab. It's going to make it a lot easier if you do. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, my So these, cute. these are the actual resources we have Ooh. now, which are a significant improvement huh. over what we had in our... Yeah, Ricky, Ricky hasn't seen this yet. I mean, I've, I've seen this because I was on the Kickstarter page, so I've seen the theoretical aspect of what you get. Ricky had a bunch of wooden cubes, I believe? No, it was a bunch of cardboard pieces. Was it cardboard pieces? Oh, it was. It, it was, was a cardboard, cardboard piece of the drawing. Yep, cardboard piece of the draw drawing. Do you prefer those or this? These. Yeah, I thought so. I, I thought love so. you, my sister. So, you take let's it go from. ahead. The orange my favorite. Let's go. You, the orange your favorite? Yeah. Uh, let me see. What is my favorite, actually? Let's um, line them all up. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and show them on the top cam so that you can just yeah. get a glance. Oh, okay, great, great. Let's go ahead and put this here. The one thing I would prefer to be different is the bandages, which is like more of a circle token. I'd almost rather the bandage be an actual bandage. Yeah. But I, I do agree the yarn is very charming. Yes, and I also love the book and yeah. the apple. I love and the, the apple. They actually did all the colors. I think I'm inclined to agree with you. Although I do have a so soft spot for this token over here because yeah. maple leaves and Canada. I am Canadian. So is uh, KTBG, by the way. Ooh, maybe that's why this is here. Yeah. Anyways, that's your little token tray of resources. Let's go ahead and grab the I'm next thingy. Back. Anyway, let's start with these. Oh, we're not done with the expressions she's going to make. Don't worry about that. No, this isn't it. This is okay. We'll get to it. Oh, you're even 
these are better because the last one only had two, only had this one, two of these, in one of this. And are they different sides? No, the score was on the other side. Oh, interesting. Oh, so you can use any of these at the, the score. Okay, cool. They only had two of these in one of this. Oh, you're right. They did have one doubles. You're right about that. They I only had two that. of these in one of this. They did not have any of these. I think they might have had this, but I don't think so. Um, I, I, I remember this one. I remember this one. I definitely remember this one. I think I remember this one. I feel like I remember this one too. But I'm not confident. But I know I didn't see, I know I didn't see some of these. Well, again, nice part is we can, well, actually, we can't necessarily check that on camera because we can see the three ones we played with on camera, but we can't see what we didn't have. We, we can check our review. We can check our review. It may or may not have that all. It may, it might I remember we took, I remember we played Oh, you did? One. You did? That, that does I, sound like something you would do. I remember I, I showed them all. All right, that's the, the tokens. What else do you want to grab? I want to grab this because I saw something. You saw something? Dun, 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 yes, dun, 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 How about, why don't you grab something else while I open all the card packs? Yeah. Yeah, they may or may not have a little tag on them, but sometimes I like using my knife anyway. I find that the tags they put on cards, very often in order to actually get them properly, you have to kind of nick them with your nail. I always nick them with my nail because I have big ones. My nails go fast and they're easy to do. Look at fine. I found these really cute little minute figures. In instead of having colored meeples. I remember last time they just had colored meeples. They have actual little animal shapes that are not are also not just shapes, they're actually printed. Does that like seem like something you would like? Yes! Can't imagine why. We have a cute we're raccoon wearing a coat. Um, a purple squirrel wearing overalls, a teal hedgehog, I'm not sure what it's wearing, a fox wearing a t-shirt, and a bunny wearing, um, I'm not sure, a jacket? I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go to the top camera again. So these are the five factions with the unique custom meeples. Uh, the squirrel is, oh, we're going to have to discuss our favorites in a second. Don't, don't, don't say. I want to do it secretly, okay? So here we go, up here. If we let it focus, those are the various animals. The gray blends in a bit as far as the clothes go, but in general, you can see the, the various animals, the way they look, the various printings they have. Ricky, without telling me, think through your favorite and your second favorite, but don't tell me. Okay? I already did. I have my favorite and second favorite. I do. Are you ready? Yep. What's your favorite? The raccoon. Fox for me. And what's your second favorite? The squirrel. I have this one. I'm not even sure what that is. What is that? It's a hedgehog. A hedgehog. The hedgy, think... hedgy corn. Hedgy corns. It's a hedgy. Yeah, the squirrel was... was The, the squirrel is very cute, just it looks kind of like... It's a little skinny. smaller. It's a little kind of weird. Which is thematically uh, accurate. But the raccoon just so cute and perfect. Okay, what else do we have? What else do we have? Let's go ahead and get some more stuff. So we have these oh! deluxe meeples. And again, I said this at the beginning, but understand this is the Kickstarter version of the game, so if you're comparing this unboxing to a retail version of the game, there are going to be differences. One of the nice things, though, is you could go to uh, Kids oh Hail Board Games my, on Kickstarter. What is this? And you could subscribe. Um, I don't know what that is. Let's come back to I know what it represents. I just don't know why. Because there's books that have pluses and minuses, right? But I don't think of them as being... Hmm. Well, these are books. No, maybe... I, I'm I think not certain. Look like they're being packages. I know what this is, though! First player marker. This is. It's the it's the first yeah. player marker. The early bird gets the worm. Yep. And we have the beals. The wheel, the wheel barrels. Yeah, as I was saying, no. you can head to KTBG over on Kickstarter. You could subscribe to that company so that the next time they have a Kickstarter for one of their games, you see their games, which I generally recommend because you do pay more for them. But even though you pay more for them, you like ah, ah, oh, lost it, lost it, <laughs> trying to help. Um, even though you pay more for the games, you get significantly nicer copies of the game, which you have to decide whether you care about. Okay. For myself, KTBG deluxified board games are very Fine. premium. Very Ooh, nice. some nice dice. Ooh, they're custom dice, too. They are custom dice. They actually have a little shape. You want to show how they're custom dice? Let's go ahead and yes. do this. And the way they are custom dice dun, 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 dun. Hands. Hands, both hands. Ah. That didn't work. Okay. Yep, these are oh the custom dice. Oh, my goodness, yes. Like, I was oh, hoping. there's two. There's two sides. No, uh, Oh, they're all different. They're all oh. different based on the animal faction. Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable. That is just incredible. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. So the way it works in this game is you basically are going to be, in this game, it's a worker placement game which you're trying to, well, place your dice as efficiently as possible in a variety of areas with different restrictions. But you have your faction dice and then you have the group dice. So all players are trying to use the group dice at the same time. But the faction dice are, oh, this, I guess, goes over here to elevate the raised part. Uh, but yeah, all players are going to be using the shared dice, so you'll have some degree of knowledge around what's going on, but then you have your, your unique dice that are going to be how you're varied or different than other players. And the number one, in some dice, number one is usually represented by something cute. 
And in these, the each number one is represented by the by the by the foot of every faction. The bunny has bunny feet, and, and the raccoon has raccoon feet, and the fox has fox feet. If you recognize any of these from like various prints and flowers through your house, you may have a rodent problem. We have a rodent problem. Anyways, moving on to the next thing. You want to grab these? Go okay, those. these. Oh, what are these? I don't, I don't know. know. Let's, let's go and pull out. Let's find out. What are these? Let's find out. Pull out. Those are little cottages. Well, the good news is I can always go ahead and just check over here. Hey, they're little cottages. Are they cottages? Oh, they're the cottages. That's right. That's right. The cottages that go in your house. You see, oh, us... Oh my gosh, they're colored! As you build things I don't out... Think the, the, these, are, these are unique. These are, don't look the same, Abba. They are oh, they different. The they no, are the they are the same. They are the same. But they're colored! Yeah, so as you build things, you're going to put them onto your little house box it's, over here. And the colors are way more saturated. And you'll get more points up until the top over there. These are, these are definitely more saturated. More saturated? Yeah. Yeah, these are the little... Let me just show them the, a handful. Ah. You can just show them on each. I'll just show a handful. Yep, there we go. These are the various cottages. You can see the various shapes to a degree over there. They're not various shapes. Well, the anyway, various... Yeah. These are the regular dice. And those are the regular dice. And I think that's it. Are there anything under those bags? Oh, we got more cards. Oh, these are the end people. Oh, we got more cards. You want to grab even more cards over there? They're end people. We didn't actually... Oh, well. We didn't What's go through it? a... Stone... Oh, there's ability stuff, I think. Uh, what are those? Oh, they're these. A... Oh, um... Oh, interesting. Yes, Take yes. Yeah, I don't think there are any gameplay differences from when we last played. But we do have, like you said already, the in people, which go over here, and give it represent the changes to the way the in operates. Again, every single fat area of the board has their own worker placement rules as far as where you can go. Uh, we have the, the spring cards over here, whose artwork slowly progresses through as the you winter. go through the game. It starts in the summer with very summery green trees, and then it goes and then it goes to no, it starts in the spring, I believe, with all the flowers on the trees. And then after the spring it goes to the summer and then after the summer Wait, it goes to the we're fall. We're wrong with this. We're wrong. This is an expansion. Here oh, we go. You see, these cards are the cards you're buying for the various comfort things you're buying. Okay. Yes, the then we bread, have bread, bread. these the for the various order. tool type things you can buy over here. Oh, and the almanacs. Although they're not I shuffled like yet. So. I like getting the almanacs. And then this is a Kickstarter mini expansion. Okay. Creature comforts, dreams come true, micro expansion. Uh, just, just add secret goals for each player to work on during the game. How many of your dreams will come true? In setup, shuffle the deck of 25 dream cards. Deal two to each player. If at any point you've made a dream come true, reveal it and stash it under your home board. That's at the end of your turn, cute. if you have fewer than two dreams, you may draw a new one. If you have two, you may discard one and draw a replacement. If the dream deck runs out, shuffle it. Oh, interesting. Cool. Yeah. So you just keep on scoring points for this. So, for instance, it's an extra point score. visit any river location successfully and discard all of the stones that you gain. We have Big Spender. Buy three uh, star cards from the market using one, using coins in one visit. So these just give you goals with various rewards for achieving those goals. Have five or more plus tokens at once. Yeah, that's fun. A little extra module that they added to the game. And that's basically it. That is Creature Comforts. It's a worker placement game in which you'll be placing rolling dice, a rolling share dice. Let's go ahead and roll these dice. You'll be rolling dice on a share location, throwing them on the hill and then having your own separate dice as far as how you use those dice in combination with the dice over there to factor in the various locations you'll be going in over here. This one requires two dice that are the same. This one requires two dice where the total is five or lower, letting you use your lower dice. You'll have the little river location, which you can go over here gathering stones and or coins from the river as you go around there. Over here, you can trade in various resources for other resources. Here's where you can trade in the resources to gather the various uh, comforts that you want. And then over here are the creature comforts. And then over here, you'll have specific tool cards that give you abilities or sometimes worker placement zones like you have over over here somewhere on one of these cards here we go here's like a worker placement zone on one of those cards that you can earn that other players can go to as well giving you a benefit or you can go there getting a benefit and then you have the inn where you can go as well and that's basically creature comforts in a fairly quick nutshell we have a full you know Kickstarter review video of a prototype, so it changes on all that. Uh, you can check on the channel. We have a gameplay over on Quacklope, again, prototype. And I'm sure there's plenty of other content you can check out along the way. And then we have these nice resources, which are very, very cool. Yes, they are very nice yep. resources, and I love them, especially the Anything else, Rix? Or oh, that's basically, yeah. Um, this is a very nice thingy. It's very neat. It's a very nice And insert. it's not just throwing everything in the box. Yes, yes. We have, we have, you've gotten spoiled with the fact that all the inserts we have are more and more getting better and better. Some inserts are just throw them in the box, which I, to be fair, I don't know what the retail version of this is, so you may be that your retail version is kind of thrown in the box, but I don't actually know. In any case, I am Alex Radcliffe from Morgan Co. I I'm hope you enjoyed this uh, Creature Comforts unboxing. Yes. And you're... Ricky. Which you just said, but that's because... We, we have a cadence, because usually I say, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Morgan Co., and then you say, 
Hi, Ricky. And this time I didn't stop. I just kept talking. So. Yep. So it kind of threw you off. Yep. Okay, we can try it again. Ready? Ready? Yeah. I'll do it your way. Hi, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board. Mm -mm, sorry, I'm ending. Yeah, and I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I'm Ricky. And have a good one.